Welcome back. So today we're going to be farming another tokenless project on Solana. So this is Camino Lending with a TVL of $37 million. You guys can see how crazy it is going currently. They will be tracking our points. So that means we're going to be receiving most likely an R drop in the future. So right here, we can actually borrow some money. We can add some liquidity. We can also use the multiplier, which is adding liquidity, um, but with some leverage. Then we can go long or short also using some leverage. So obviously you will need some funds on Solana, maybe on your Fensum wallet, on your Soulflare wallet. Just make sure that you do have some Solana and since Solana is so cheap, um, with $100 to $100, you can actually farm this and add as much volume as possible. So number one, we can add some supplies. So let me go ahead and do it right here. I'm gonna do one Solana. Let me see my max just to make sure what is the amount of solana that i have on my wallet so i have 1.07 well if that is a max no worries i'm gonna do 0 0.92 i'm gonna deposit that confirm complete the deposit and then we're gonna be confirming the transaction so currently the supply we will be getting 4.65 percent for supplying some funds so let's go ahead and confirm that within the, the wallet. And there you go. So once you have the supply, you can actually borrow against it if you want to, which obviously might be a requirement in the future for an airdrop. So we can go here, do borrow. Let me see if it is coming up. Yeah, actually I can do so. So TVL, so I'm gonna do maybe $30 and we will be paying it right away in just a second. So borrow USDC, let's go ahead and also confirm. So as you can see, we're taking two different transactions using as many features as possible. And right there, I just borrow $30, which even if the API is like 9% to borrow, that's okay because I'm gonna be paying it right away. And let's see, TVL, perfect, 52%, that's okay still going to be paying in just a second so next if we want to we can just go to long and short we again guys have the option to use liquidity or multiply but again that comes with some risk so make sure that you read all the documents before you do so let me just go ahead and show you guys what i mean so with multiply if you want to you can add some liquidity and get up to 10 x's but obviously that comes with some risks. So for example, we'd have this right here, max API is 16%, which is again, not bad at all, but you need to check the information and risk. So let's see what are the risk. Um, so your position can be liquidated if your loan to value ratio is above the liquid liquidation threshold which can be caused by a DPEG, for example. So you can lose some funds there, obviously. So make sure that you read all the information before you proceed with adding liquidity and playing with leverage. Next, we have long and short, which is also with leverage, but you need to be using USDC to do so. So we can go short and we can go long. So currently we have like a small drop. Oh, we're dropping actually. So let's go ahead and do a short on Solana. It would be this one. So we're gonna do deposit. And we can also choose the amount of leverage that we wanna use. So we can do one X up to 2.7 X's. So not bad, not crazy. Um, let's do 1.5. My deposit, USDC. I'm gonna do a hundred and I'm gonna open a quick short. And let's wait so we can confirm the transaction. Obviously we would have to then close the short to go to borrow and then repay our borrow. I'm gonna show you guys the process in just a second whenever Phantom decides to open the transaction. Let's wait. And there you go. So now it is confirmed. Let's wait a little bit until everything comes. So transaction one, it actually needs five transaction for the setup. So let's see if we actually need to confirm another one. Hopefully not. 
no it is get, getting confirmed automatically so great for oh, one second and lastly confirm there we go so now we do have all our transaction added so we can go back to borrow and let me show you guys what would be the process for borrowing and repaying so if you want to repay you can just come here click on repay and obviously i have my usdc in the trade so i would have to remove it to repay the the loan but once you have it just come here do repay and then you can go to lending again and you can remove your funds from the lending so that would be by removing it right here and that's it so basically as simple as that make sure that you add as much volume as possible use the pro um, use the project on a weekly basis and hopefully you can receive an art drop thank you for watching guys take care